Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and in this video I'm going to show the fastest fully upgraded vehicles in the GTA Online Vans class in terms of top speed. As always the position counter is in the top left with the actual top speed the vehicle achieved in the top right and for this 2020 series I'll be showcasing the non-raceable vehicles first. So even though for example the Burrito is in the Vans class and would be in the mid pack, since it can't be used in regular van races it's not going to be included in the main list. We start the regular raceable vehicles list with the Surfer in 20th place overall. This video only focuses on straight line performance, so if you're interested in racing where braking, cornering and acceleration are all relevant, check the link in the description for the lap time testing series, and if you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all vehicles and is correct as of the Casino Heist update. For any vans added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to support this work and get testing results of any new cars a little bit early. So once again we're standing with the super slow vehicles, some really really slow top speeds at this point, 71 miles per hour, 72 miles per hour. You know, these are some really, really slow vehicles. You certainly could be in a lot of vehicles in the game and get from point A to point B much quicker. Even things that you would consider to be slow, like sedans, things that you just find in traffic at random, they're all a lot quicker than some of the vans that we're seeing here. So, you know, nobody's ever going to really take these to if in, in, in the game if you're going to be uh, going from point A to point B but at least you have an idea of what kind of top speed these get. Again, we've got the Surfer in last place. In general, there's not an awful lot of mix for the Vans class in the early stages when it comes to the comparison between top speed and lap time. Obviously, we saw the lap time testing video last week because the, the, they all handle generally the same way and it's their top speed difference that determines their, their performance around a track. The Yuga Classic actually does much better in terms of top speed than it did for uh, for lap time, just because it it, uh, it it it's more competitive. But it's still quite far off what we're seeing from even bog standard vans here, like the Speedo, that can't even get upgrades. But yeah, the the Surfer is still in last place because it's just that slow. It's you know 60 less than 70 miles per hour is incredibly slow especially considering it's it's fully upgraded as well it's yeah you don't want the surfer in any kind of situation if you're going to be driving in this game so we're coming on to the the top 10 and the the 95 miles per hour that we're starting to hit again it's not quick but at least it's it, it's not ridiculously slow that we saw you know the 70 mile per hour type stuff and I'm pretty sure the top 10 if it's not the same it's almost exactly the same in terms of the actual vehicles that are in the top 10 for the vans class but there's only two vehicles in the vans class that even get ahead of the 100 mile per hour barrier and obviously that's our top two vehicles despite that the class itself is relatively close if you take out those top two we've got maybe 10 or so vehicles that are separated by five miles per hour or something like that so there is a good balance there in terms of competitiveness it's just that most of the vehicles are going to be you're going to be using some one of the top two and most of them are not that good around a track as some of the higher paced vehicles anyway so it's it's more about lap time that makes the difference there but in terms of top speed a lot of the vans are relatively similar and that's probably a function of the fact that they're just programmed to be very similar as well. It's just the, the way that they're programmed, generally they're all programmed pretty similarly in the game and that they're all about the same in terms of the handling files. So naturally they're going to have similar top speeds, especially when they're not having much engine power and other things kind of override that. So. We saw that the Bison was in the top 5 for lap time, but it doesn't quite make it into the top 5 for top speed. 98.5 is still a relatively respectable top speed, obviously we saw the Bug Stars Burrito there also not make it into the top 5 with a very similar top speed, but the Rumpo Custom does make it into the top 5, only just though, with a top speed of 98.8, like I said and explained in the lap time testing video, go back and watch that if you haven't already. The Rumpo Custom can get a top speed that's higher than this when you wiggle boost with it. 
but when you're not taking advantage of that exploit this is the top speed that it gets and like i said it's only the top two that break that 100 mile per hour barrier but they do it relatively decently and that's why it's a bit of a shame that you can induce a higher top speed from the rumpo custom because that's where that balance is between the rumpo custom and our number one vehicle it's mainly in the top speed versus the cornering fourth place we got the paradise a very very respectable 99.3 for the paradise you know that one of the the very first dlc vehicles that was added to the game back in 2013 with the beach bum update and and it it, you know, it does it's still kicking it into the top five for the vans class and then obviously that we're coming into the top three and this is the final vehicle that we have that doesn't quite hit that 100 mile per hour barrier and that's the rumpo with a 99.5 miles per hour top speed it's pretty good for the vans class obviously you know, none of these top speeds are anything when you're comparing them to most of the classes in the game but the rumpo does pretty respectable for the vans class with that 99.5 especially because you know you can just take it off the street and upgrade it and you've already got the third quickest in terms of top speed but ultimately the top two are significantly ahead of the rest and second place goes to the speedo custom like i said again in the lap time testing video it's kind of crazy that you can even use the speedo custom in races because it can have all sorts of uh, aggressive modifications on you could say when it comes to guns and weapons but it can be used in races at least until Rockstar realize that they've made an oversight with that or they disable weapons and, and it does it has, it has a respectable top speed of 103.5 miles per hour but it's not quite enough to overhaul the gang burrito at the top of the vans class which has a top speed of 105.3 at this point feel free to subscribe if you haven't already for regular lap time and top speed testing videos and updates when new cars are released and check out other classes in the playlist and when you take into account that the rumpo custom was only on that sort of 98 mile per hour top speed that seven mile per hour difference is pretty significant uh, and then certainly even the speedo custom on on tracks that have longer straights the gang burrito would be significantly quicker than the rumpo custom and the the speedo custom could at least compete with it in terms of the rumpo customs better cornering but ultimately none of it really matters because of this wiggle boosting aspect of the rumpo custom that i talked about in the lap time testing video and then when you obviously when you're comparing the gang burrito and the surfer to to each other from the very top to the very bottom you can see the difference that pretty much 40 miles per hour makes it, it it's a pretty significant difference there in terms of top speed so the the vans class is a very i think it's an interesting class and you can certainly get some interesting races in vans it, it obviously they're not very quick and they're not glamorous like supercars so nobody really pays attention to them but there, there's lots of interesting vehicles in this class and lots of interesting nuances as well in terms of the performance of those vehicles but it kind of goes under the radar a lot of the time but that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.